I think what is important, it's also important to notice uh, the recent, uh, recent focus of clinical trials in the early phases of the disease, where the synaptic and neuronal and brain damage is still reversible. And this is important because uh, recent studies, again, from, from humans have shown that the, de the, the damages in the neurons and in the brain of, of the patients can start even 20 years before the appearance of the first symptoms. That is a long period and very critical uh, if we want really to stop Alzheimer's disease. Rest, we don't have drugs, but we can invest more on the early diagnosis and even prognosis of the disease based on specific biomarkers that we are recently uh, under, uh, we also uh, analyze this and, and develop in our team based on, bi uh, based on peripheral biomarkers such as exosomes in the blood. In that way, an early detection can offer a better treatment or more specific treatment because as I told you, Alzheimer's disease is a very heterogeneous disorder. You can see different, uh, different profile, clinical, as well as uh, neuropathological in the brain uh, among different uh, patients. And that, that tells us, as we also know from our clinical and epidemiological studies, that the lo a lot of uh, risk factors and precipitating parameters are involved. Indeed, this is exactly the focus and the target of precision medicine, which now trying to focus on individual genetic proteomic and uh, metabolomic profile of each patient in order as well as his uh, lifestyle, such as stress that we referred previously, in order to identify the best treatment as well to uh, uh, also predict the trajectory of the disease for this individual patient. So I think this is the, the two critical parts for now is that the early detection and the development of, of new biomarkers in order to detect, as well as the, the uh, focus on pre uh, precision medicine in order to identify unique uh, uh, treatment for the correct patient. 